The FBI plans to expand the info it collects on violent police encounters in the U.S., while Afghan trainees are reported missing from Georgia Air Force Base. And Amazon wants to make it easier for you to stream movies and TV. In sports, Warriors show their king of small ball. Plus, Kane extends point streak to 23 games. Today is December 9th, 2015. I'm Kelly Collins and this is Laker News. The FBI system for tracking fatal police shootings will be replaced by 2017, dramatically expanding the information it gathers on violent police counters in the United States, a senior FBI official said on Tuesday. The new effort will go beyond tracking fatal shootings and, for the first time, track any incident in which an officer causes serious injury or death to civilians, including through the use of stun guns, pepper spray, and even fists and feet. We are responding to a real human outcry, said Stephen Morris, assistant director of the FBI's Criminal Justice Information Services Division, which oversees the data collection. People want to know what police are doing and they want to know why they're using force. The FBI's efforts follow a year of national focus on fatalities and injuries at the hands of police with widespread frustration over the lack of reliable data on the incidents. Officials say two male Afghan nationals being trained at an Air Force base in Georgia have gone missing. In a news release issued Tuesday night, base officials said the two students did not report on Monday to the regular maintenance training with the 81st Fire Squadron at Moody Air Force Base. The release notes that the two men have been at Moody since February 2015 and were screened prior to their arrival in the United States more than a year ago. The release adds that federal authorities are searching for the students who have been training along American counterparts for the entirety of 2015 and did not pose any apparent threat. The 81st Fire Squadron was reactivated in January to train Afghan airmen. Amazon is now bundling subscriptions to streaming services like Showtime with its existing $99 a year Prime offering. The program, which launched Tuesday, gives Prime members the option to pay extra access to 30 different streaming offers. Prime customers who choose to bundle these services to their existing memberships will be able to watch all the content directly through the Amazon Video app for connected TVs, streaming devices, mobile devices, and desktop. That means customers can, can transition from what they're watching without having to switch between different apps. Douglas Tompkins, a noted conservationist and the founder of clothing brands North Face and Espirit, died on Tuesday after a kayaking accident on General Carrera Lake in the Patagonia region of southern Chile. A lifelong outdoorsman, Mr. Tompkins made his fortune in retailing, but would later shun the business world to pursue his passion for nature and conservationism. He was 72. Time Magazine unveils its choice for the most impactful newsmaker and world influencer of 2015 today. The magazine released its shortlist of diverse finalists this week. It includes famous Caitlyn Jenner to the infamous Islamic State leader Abu Kar al-Baghdadi. Black Lives Matter activists also made the cut, as well as world leaders Angela Merkel and Vladimir Putin. The 2015 Person of the Year will be unveiled on NBC's Today Show this morning and on Time.com. The Golden State Warriors retained a perfect record of 23-0 after managing to squash a fourth quarter rally from the Indiana Pacers 131-123. The Splash Brothers showed their offensive might for the Warriors as Klay Thompson racked up an impressive 39 points, 7 rebounds and 6 assists and Steph Curry made an easy night of 29 points and 10 assists himself. The Curry-Thompson duo combined for 30 points in the first quarter alone, outscoring the entire Pacers squad in the same time frame. As perfect as the Warriors seem for the moment, they did not allow the Pacers to come back from a 32-point deficit, Indiana going off on a 23-8 point run in the fourth quarter to close the lead to six before Golden State closed out the game in the final minute. Pacers All-Star Paul George led his team with 33 points and eight boards. The Warriors' next battle on the current road trip will be in Boston versus the Celtics on Friday night. Chicago Blackhawks winner Patrick Kane nodded an empty net goal with 1 minute 36 seconds left in the game, securing the Hawks' victory over the Preds 4-1. The late goal from Kane was his 23rd straight game with a point scored, continuing the historic streak but also marking his 600th career point scored. Despite the record books, the game's best performance came from Hawk goalie Corey Crawford, who nearly stood on his head as he swatted away 36 saves from the Nashville attack as the Predators outshot the Hawks on 
on goal 37 to 24. Dennis Rosman, Andrew Shaw, and Tuvo Taravina contributed to the other three goals in the Blackhawk point column. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Collins, and this is Laker News.